Hello YouTubers, uh, thanks for watching. This is my first uh, tutorial if you like and I'm going to cover um, the chords for Knights of Cydonia by The Muse. Um, so the song itself changes key uh, three times, or four times actually, and four times when it goes back to the, the uh, beginning key. Uh, I'll break it down section by section, um, show you the chords. We'll cover the intro first. So, chords for the intro is a E minor, G, A, and a B, and it sounds something like this. It plays that four times. So once it's played through those four chords four times, the, the next thing that happens is sort of like, uh, almost sounds like a slide. And it's starting from the nineteenth fret on the E string. And then it finishes on the uh, E minor power chord. So it should sound like this. Finishes on the E minor. The chords for the first verse then, so it starts off with uh, E minor and there's four measures. Um, so if you, for the time, and if you count four for every time, then uh, it'll give you some idea of um, the, the the timing in between the chord changes so the first bit is the e minor and it goes for four four counts so it's going one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four once that's happened then it's then going to sound more like one two three four chord change for the rest of the verse the chords for the rest of the verse then is e minor so it's going one, two, three, four. Then a G. One, two, three, four. Then a C. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. B. One, two, three, four. C. One, two, three, four. E flat. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. Now we go to a C minor, one, two, three, four, back to the G, one, two, three, four, A flat, one, two, three, four, E flat, one, two, three, four, G, one, two, three, four, A flat, one, two, three, four, E flat, G for four and then it finishes on the C minor so from the top then I'm just going to play through that progression the first verse so second verse then it's changed key to uh, C minor this time so if you remember from the last verse it was hanging on that C minor this second verse starts with the C minor now for the four counts so it's going C minor one two three four E flat one two three four A flat 
E flat, G, A flat, B, E flat. No, oh, no, E flat, come on. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. After that E flat, then it goes to a A flat minor. So it's like the A minor we was playing here, and all we're doing is moving this finger. So A minor, uh, sorry, A flat minor, back to uh, E flat. Now a normal E chord to a B, E flat. E, B, E flat, and then it finishes on the A flat minor, and it hangs on that A flat minor because the next key change for the third verse starts with the A flat minor. Okay, the third verse then. Um, same 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 sort of rhythm pattern same sort of uh, timing signature this time then it started on that b flat uh, sorry the a flat minor which was this chord here so at the back of the, at the end of the second verse it was hanging on the chord so we start with the a flat minor for four counts then it's a b then it's an E, back to a B, E minor, B, C, G, B, oh, B, C, B. And this time it finishes on an E minor. So all together it sounds a little something like this. Okay, so there's a there's a middle bit. So it's the bit that starts going. If you know the song, you'll know the bit I'm talking about. But the it sounds a little bit like this. Uh, give me a sec. That's a bit. That bit. Now the chords that are going over the top of that bit are quite simple. So we've got an E minor. A B, oh, no way, a B, and an A. And as far as the rhythm goes, um, it's, hard to, it's hard to pick out the rhythm, but it's still following that um, four counts. And it will sound a little something like this, so. something like that um, but but the chords are E minor B and A. Now the awesome riffy part um, again if you're familiar with the song you know exactly which bit I'm talking about but it's the bit that sounds a little something like this that bit <laughs> Okay, so the chords that's happening over the top of that, so we've got an E5 power chord. 
then we've got the B and an A back to the E5 power chord and the rhythm sounds a little something like this again it's still sticking to those four counts the epic uh, riff section that's about it for the uh, video then um, the outro um, it's just two chords it is the E minor and an E it alternates between the two um, there's two counts of four for each chord as it slowly fades away hope you have a lot of fun with it um, it's a classic um, if you like it like the video uh, subscribe if you're not already um, and if you want anything else, any other stuff, just put it in, just ask in the comments. Thank you very much.